Hi, I'm Lam. Welcome back to Keeping Up with the Queen. Today, <sighs> beautiful day, amazing. I haven't filmed in a week, so now I have no idea how to talk in front of a camera. But today, I'm going to put together another battle of the products kind of a video. And today, the contestants for this battle are drum rolls, please. First, the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, and we're gonna put it against the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. So the Hourglass Primer is like a cult favorite, and then the Tatcha Silk Canvas got really popular, so now they released the liquid version of that. So I thought, wow, they really have similar claims they have supposed to do similar things for you and so let's put it on a test so let's get right into it I don't want this video to be a thousand years long again so today I'm going to talk about them the claims the ingredients the pricing the pricing and then we're going to do a battle where I will apply uh, each of them on one side of my face and then I'll put makeup on top of it and then we'll get together at the end of the night and see which one holds up better. Um, let's get into the information of the Veil Mineral Primer from Hourglass. This cream is formulated with microspheric powders that fill and soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, minimize the look of pores, conceal redness, and create a smooth, even canvas for makeup. So it does claim that it softens the appearance of texture and pores. It does not claim to prolong makeup. That's very important. It's supposed to have titanium dioxide. Um, now I'm getting to the highlighted ingredients and I'm reading from Sephora website. So titanium dioxide is a sunscreen. Uh, protects skin from UVA and UVB rays. It has zinc oxide too. The skin type that this is good for is normal dry combination and oily, so everyone. The primer is 54 US dollars for one ounce, which is 30 milliliter. It has a value size, which is $75 for two ounces, 59 milliliter. And then it also has a mini size for $20 for 0.31 ounce, which is 8.9 milliliters. The Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Featherweight Protective Primer. So the claims is that the best-selling innovative silk formula is now available in the weightless, oil-free liquid. Thin layers of silk and a special blend of botanical extracts acts, act as a barrier between makeup and skin helping to prevent clog pores that leads to breakouts. The result is healthy looking skin as luscious and smooth as silk. And it's supposed to be for normal, dry combination and oily skin. Protect skin from pollutant while helping you look your look go on better and last longer. So this is this does claim to be um, long lasting. But it's supposed to soften the skin and it's supposed to uh, prep the skin for makeup and protect it from pollutant and will help the makeup last longer. 52 US dollars for one fluid ounce which is 30 milliliter and it has another mini size which is retailing for 22 dollars for 0.35 ounce. I will show you the textures of this product. The Tatcha Liquid Silk canvas is a very thick cream and you do have to do some blending but then it turned out clear after you blend this out it become um, invisible on the skin it does have a little bit of a moisturizer kind of a texture a slight um, silicone feel where it's like smoothened out, but it feels m like a moist, a thick 
moisturizer and it does have a little bit of stickiness to it. It does have a little bit of a scent, a very classic Tatcha Silk Canvas scent. It's the same scent. I, I would say this is more moisturizing than the original uh, Silk Canvas in the balm form. Um, and it does have a slight luminosity to it. This hand now I will show you the texture of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I also have a little sample. What? It comes with an applicator. Right off the bat, when you take it out from the tube, the texture is very similar to the liquid silk canvas. Maybe a little... No, it's very similar. Okay, when you blend it out, immediately it feels uh, a lot drier and more like a pore minimizing kind of a primer. It feels more silicone -y and smoothing. And then it blends out a lot faster. It's very, very smoothing. And when you blend it all the way out, it disappears completely. Um, it doesn't leave behind a moisturized effect like the liquid silk canvas. It's very smoothing. Um, and there's no... There's absolutely no scent on this uh, Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. And there's no sheen to it. The silk canvas right now, the scent is already almost completely gone. So I don't think it will stay long, but it's it doesn't feel too tacky anymore. It's very slightly tacky, um, which is probably good for holding on to makeup. So you can see the two compare. They are, I have to say, pretty um, undetectable on the skin. And right now, on the hourglass side, I don't feel the silicone feeling anymore. For some reason, it's very strange. It's almost like completely gone in my skin. It's like bare skin right now. So those are the texture. Now I will zoom you in and we'll apply it onto the face. I'm very excited for this demo because I'm curious which one will hold on to makeup better and help makeup last longer. So let's get right into it. I already have been talking so much. I'm going to apply the silk canvas on this side of the face. On my hands right now by the way, both of them are completely gone and I don't feel anything anymore, so they're both becoming invisible. Good silk canvas on this side of the face. And you might know this, you might not. I don't believe in primer, I don't think they do much. <laughs> but hopefully, someday I'll be proven wrong <laughs> by myself. I did have skincare on, very nice, very lightly. Okay, so what? I didn't see that, but do you see how it's peeling? What is happening? Do you see that? Did I apply too much or something? And I'm getting rid of the Stuff. That's really annoying. I don't like that. I'm able to get rid of most of the dry flakes, whatever that was. It's all over my shirt. Ew. I don't know if it cr uh, clashed with my skincare routine or something, but that's not a good sign. <laughs> Let's do hourglass on this side. Okay, so I did apply a very similar amount. And then, please don't peel. <laughs> this one doesn't, doesn't peel. Now I have my mirror, so I'll see it immediately. This one feels wonderful. It doesn't peel at all. It does have a very slight um, white cast. Probably from the SPF, but it's very minimal. That's the hourglass. That's the silk canvas. It looks a little more dewy. My nose... 
I don't like how these primers sit on my nose. It show a little bit of like you see that? And oh my god, I still have to the silk canvas side. So right now I will apply foundation uh, and the rest of my face and I'll be back um, and check in with you. I apply a very thin layer of foundation and I didn't apply powder because I want to see how the primers act and hold on to the makeup by themselves. And I did apply a little bit of under eye um, concealer and then a little bit of powdered bronzer but that's all. If you look at my skin closely, you will see they are pretty comparable. On the nose, they both look terrible. <laughs> really, really peely. I don't know if it's because of the retinol I'm using that peels, but it should not pick up this badly. That's why I don't like primer, because they can lift things up and make things look worse for me somehow. I don't understand. But right now, they look pretty comparable on the other part. But I don't know if you can see this side, which is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer side. Looks a little bit better than the Taja Liquid Silk Canvas side. This one looks a little bit more uneven. This one is a little more even and smoothed out and everything seemed to go on a little bit better on this side than this side. You can see everything is a little smoother on the hourglass side and this one is a little more textured. Right now after I complete my um, makeup, I like this side, the hourglass side a little more but we're going to wear this, these primers throughout the whole day and as long as I can and at the end of the night I will come back before I remove my face and I will let you know how both sides go. It's 10.30 and I will see you guys again at the end of the night. Hello, so it has been 7 hours. It's now 5.30 in the afternoon, in the evening. Right now, I would say it looks actually, actually both sides looks really good. Where it was um, a little bit peely, it got better on my nose. See on my nose, it doesn't look as bad as when I first applied it on both sides. And um, everything else still stay pretty well. On the hourglass side it looks a little a little less shiny than the um, Taja liquid silk canvas side and my eyeliner uh, right here smudge a little less than on this side but it could also be that I applied more eyeliner on this side so it's much more so I can't use that to conclude but you can I think you can see here the shine on this side and on this side it's a little more shiny and on this side it looks a little smoother overall and a little less textured so my thoughts are pretty much the same as when I first applied it on so the hourglass side still look a little better but overall I have to say it does hold on to the makeup really well on both sides and it does help my makeup last longer because the foundation I use is a little bit dewy so it does keep me pretty mad with that powder so in conclusion I recommend the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer more than the Tatcha, Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer because um, I enjoy the application better it didn't peel weird on my skin it didn't clash with my skincare routine it uh, looks very smooth, it's easy to apply, and it lasts better than the Taja Silk Canvas. Also, it has the sun protection, which the Silk Canvas doesn't have. So I like the little bit of extra sun protection. They're very comparable in 
overall, but I do recommend this Hourglass Fail Mineral Primers more than the Silk Canvas. Please let me know if you tried one of these before or if you have both, let me know what you think. I have combination skin so I can only use my skin as an example. I can't really know how it works on other skin types. So if you have other skin types, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give this video a like um, so that I know you enjoy the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. I have a lot of interesting videos coming up. I just subscribed to Boxy Charm, so I should be getting my July box and August box and I will start doing all that. I will let you go. Have a great day and remember, don't flop.